you've talked about the importance of the voice as a sort mm -hmm. of unique instrument, and you've you know talked about your mm -hmm. family's relationship to it, and you write both in lyric but also in in other voices, in mm. persona. Mm. So mm. so talk to me about that channeling of mm. other voices. How do you <laughs> describe and navigate that relationship? Well, um, I have this this um, idea that, that certainly isn't original to me, but that I have this idea that um, every city has its own sounds. Mm. Um, and you know your city by a, a certain um, a certain blend or a certain cacophony of sound. Um, it's almost impossible to have either quiet or solitude in New Orleans because people won't let you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you're alone, people will come and visit you, and especially if you say you want to be alone. Then they'll say, oh my Something's goodness, something wrong. is wrong. Let me go and see about her. And they'll beat on the side of the house and say, I know you're in there, Lauren. Let me in. What's the <laughs> matter with you? So, <laughs> so that's one. And the other thing is that there's always music. And when there isn't music, there are kinds of music, mm -hmm. like the sounds of the streetcars running on the tracks, um, or the 12 noon lunch whistle that used to ring when I was a child, or that used to sound when I was a child, um, to call workmen into to their lunches. Um, there are all kinds of sounds that, that you associate with your city. Um, and so the voices that, um, that I steal, and, and I honestly feel that it's not stealing, I feel they're pretty much as much mine as anybody <laughs> else's, as the people making them, um, are voices, um, very often voices of my city. Mm. And the other thing, though, is with narrative poetry, um, one always wants a lyric quality. Mm -hmm. um, and when I'm working in narrative, which is it's my preferred mode, obviously, um, even my short early poems were narrative, had mm -hmm. that narrative thing. Yeah. And we always talk about story with narrative poetry, but it isn't necessarily the story itself that's important to me as it is the voice that's telling the story and why it's telling the story.